Hello gardeners, I'm Joe Gadbois, the Perennials Department Manager and one of the 630 Ched Garden Show hosts here at Greenland Garden Center and today in this video I'm going to show you how to plant fall bulbs. Now this is really the only way to get some of the most popular spring flowers like tulips, daffodils, crocuses, etc. in your garden. You can't buy these things as a potted perennial plant. You have to plant them as a fall bulb and it really is as simple as dig, drop, done okay so what I've got here I have a bag of beautiful tulip bulbs and I've got a hole now I've dug a hole about six inches deep uh, when you're digging your hole you want to dig it about two to three times deeper than the height of the bulb right so if you look at a tulip bulb they're usually about two inches tall so about four to six inches deep is the depth you're looking for now when you look at this bulb you can see and you'll see this on most bulbs, there are bulbs with sort of different shapes, but you're always, or almost always, going to have a distinctive pointed end and then a flat bottom. So you always want to plant these guys with the flat bottom facing down, the pointed end up, okay? Uh, this is where the roots are going to come from and this is where the top growth is going to come from. And what I like to do, in this case it doesn't really matter because these are all the same bulb, but for a natural look, I like to just dump the bulbs in the hole and kind of let them fall wherever they're going to fall, right? And then orientate them properly. I tend to plant the bulbs pretty densely. So around, say, an inch, two inches tops apart. You want to have a nice, dense sort of patch of these guys. Um, there are many different techniques to planting fall bulbs, right? So you can use layering, for example, where you would have different types of bulbs mixed together in the same hole with the larger ones like tulips or daffodils at the bottom, smaller ones like crocuses would be sort of higher up above, so it creates this sort of layer. So you can do that. Or you can do a solid color, solid type like we're doing here with all red tulips whatever you sort of fancy um, but like I say as long as your hole is about double to triple the height of the bulb in depth then you're going to be good and another thing that I will do is I will grab a handful of bone meal in this case it's a pretty big hole a couple generous handfuls of bone meal throw that into the bottom of the hole and you can kind of scratch it into the soil as well but as long as it's just sort of in the bottom of the hole that's going to give you a bit of phosphorus for these guys to root out and another tip with fall bulbs is plant them as early as you can okay um, the later you plant them the more chances you're going to have a few that don't really come up. So plant them as early as you can in the fall so they have ample time to root out before winter sets in. Once the bulbs are all set in place, you've got your bone meal in the bottom of the hole, then we can just backfill with the soil. Now if your soil is not already enriched with organic material such as compost or sea soil, you'll want to add that at this stage. Like when you're planting anything else, backfill the soil over the top okay so once you have all of your soil backfilled up to the surrounding grade you can then cover with a thin layer of bark mulch if desired I've already got some surrounding mulch in this bed here so I'm just kind of spreading it around And then, of course, the last step is just to water it in. Give it a nice, light watering. And make sure that the soil remains moist uh, right up until freeze up because you want those roots to develop nicely. And if the soil dries out, that won't happen. And it's as simple as that. Those three easy steps, dig, drop, and done. And uh, in the springtime, these will come up 
flower for you and look beautiful. One more tip with your fall bulbs, make sure that you combine them with later blooming things like perennials, smaller shrubs, etc. Things that are going to take the spotlight after the bulbs are finished. Because of course your tulips, your crocuses, your daffodils, these are all going to flower early and then sort of go dormant and disappear. So just make sure to combine them with some things that will sort of take over afterwards. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative videos on gardening in Alberta. And check out our website, greenlandgarden.com. Like us on Facebook to see what's happening here at Greenland Garden Centre. For Greenland, I'm Joe Gadbois.